Hi again. Um, I want to do one last video just because I talked about all of the interval side of your packet, and then the rest, the last four pages of your packet is on some note dam identification stuff. It's pretty basic and simple. Hopefully, a lot of you should be able to get this. Um, but I thought I would make a video anyways, just for the couple of people that might still need some extra help on this. So on your first page of the, tr if you have treble clef, your treble clef or your bass clef, you have the bass clef part. But on the cl treble clef notes, they're just going to give you a bunch of notes that are on the lines and getting used to identifying the notes that are on the lines. And so it's just good, some good practice to really cement in the fact that we know this. And then the second page is all of the notes that are on the spaces. Um, and so that, that way it kind of goes through a bunch of the different ones. Just get yourself familiar with the lines and spaces of your clefs and just get more used to reading them. And then the second page, the, tr the line notes, or the third and fourth page, the line notes and spaces, those are going to give you a letter name. So they'll give you A, and you need to write in the note A if it's for a space, but if it's asking for A on the line, you would write it up there. Um, so make sure you're paying attention to the page that you're on, because if you were just like, oh yeah, no, I know where F is, but it's asking for the F on the line, it's going to be the one way up at the top of the staff. So make sure that you're reading the directions carefully. Um, but aside from that, I don't feel like there's going to be a lot of people too confused on those. If there are, shoot me an email and we can talk it over. Have a great day.